Hi everyone and welcome to The Audio Files. I'm Steve Westman, thanks for joining me. Now, today's episode, today's topic is this. Will MoFi or Analog Productions ever re-release Pink Floyd or Led Zeppelin? Will they ever do it? What do you think? What do I think? Here's what I think. My theory on it is this. Now, I've gotten a lot of DMs, I've gotten a lot of uh, people asking me, hey, do you think it will ever happen again? You know, why can't MoFi uh, release, uh, you know, other other band titles? I mean, I'm tired of these old ones, etc., etc. Now, here's the thing. Now, obviously we know MoFi released stuff back in the 70s um, under the MFSL label. Um, you're looking at one right now. This is, of course, the Dark Side of the Moon. Now, going forward, will Pink Floyd or Led Zeppelin allow MoFi or AP to re-release or reissue their titles? My, my answer to that is no. I don't think you're ever going to see an audio file pressing from MoFi or Analog Productions. Um, you know, and you will never see those titles either from Pink Floyd or Led Zeppelin. It's not going to happen. And simply this, my simple theory is that Pink Floyd and Led Zeppelin both own their own labels. They both control exactly what they want to produce, what they want to release. They also get obviously a bigger, you know, cut of the pie as well. Now, for example, you see some of the stuff being released by MoFi or by Analog Productions right now. You know, they limit to limit limit the albums to four thousand or you know ten thousand or for the Miles Davis kind of blue that AP is releasing, it's you know ten twenty five thousand units. So if you look at it, I mean these bands aren't probably making enough money to make it worth their while to have MoFi or AP release or reissue their albums. I don't think financially it benefits them all at all. I mean, if you look at, uh, you know, once uh, COVID clears, there's going to be concerts. I mean, these bands, I mean, what's left of these bands can go out in one night and make <laughs> way more than they could ever make, um, you know, reissuing this album, even a 10,000 run album. Um, you know, even though we all know as audio files, it's going to be sold out, you know, right away on pre-order. So that's my theory there. I just don't think there's enough money uh, for these bigger bands to ever see a re-release of an audio file. I mean, give you a case in point, right? I mean, they're doing it anyways. I mean, you look at Pink Floyd's Dark Side of the Moon here. This is the uh, their own version of it. I mean, if you look here, this is a great value. I mean, it still sells. It's one of the top selling albums still. If you look at sort of, uh, if you look at any uh, list, even the Amazon list, and it, and it says it right here, remastered from the original analog tapes by James Guthrie, Joel Plant, and Bernie Grunman. So um, I think most of you who are watching today have this copy. And I mean, all of the remasters that Pink Floyd has put out over the last few years um, sound phenomenal. This one included. So yeah, I mean, if you're looking, if you're a budget audiophile and you want Pink Floyd and you can't afford the crazy prices that uh, you see um, out there for some of the audiophile ones uh, that Bofi has put out over the years. And yeah, obviously check these ones out. Great value there. Even with metal, right? Again, metal. Um, another another one here. Remastered from the original analog tapes. Now, um, I just noticed on the MoFi buy and sell group today, if you wanted the MoFi version, um, I think it went for just over $500 today. So there you go. Uh, a lot of money. Again, you can pick this one up for what, 30 bucks or 25 bucks or something. So uh, again, not bad. And all of these remasters sound amazing. So that's Pink Floyd. No, you're never going to see the release by AP or, or MoFi again. Just not going to happen. I just don't see the economic benefit at all um, for Pink Floyd to be doing this or Led Zeppelin. And then speaking of Led Zeppelin, now they do their own um, remastered here, as you can see. Uh, this is remastered. This is the, the latest one you can basically get on Amazon or your local record shop. Uh, remastered by Jimmy Page. Now, I don't know if this is from the original analog tapes or not. I'm not going to guess um, or speculate. But again, uh, for the price that you're, you're paying for these albums, very good value for the sound quality. So um, Led Zeppelin, the MoFi um, Led Zeppelin 2 that was released a number of years ago. If you look on Discogs right now, I think... You can probably find one if you're lucky for three to four hundred dollars um, just for probably a very good um, plus copy or whatnot so again if you're a if you're a, an audiophile on a budget maybe just stick with the remasters uh, these ones that Jimmy Page did are 
are uh, you know phenomenal as well. And then one other thing, I mean, if you're looking, if you really are looking for the best uh, copy of Led Zeppelin, I mean, this has probably been beaten like a dead horse as well. Um, and I just want to quickly talk about it. It's the Led Zeppelin II, as you can see here. Um, this is the Led Zeppelin II Robert Ludwig mix, hot mix as well. And um, I didn't actually look up what these are running for right now, uh, but I know that uh, for a decent copy and they're hard to find, um, you're gonna be spending a lot of money. So if you're crate digging, here's the thing, go to your lo local record shop, crate digging, look for a Led Zeppelin too. You never know what you might find. And so I'll just reread, I'll read you the dead wax on this so you know what to look for if you see a Led Zeppelin too. You never know, you might pull it out at a yard sale and say, holy crap, this is a Robert Ludwig hot mix. So let me just read you the dead wax on the one that I own right now. And just by the way, this one here, um, this Led Zeppelin too, is does have the Robert Ludwig SS on both sides of the of the vinyl. So if you're at a yard sale and you pull it a Led Zeppelin II, um, mine says here STA 691671-1A and then just above that it says RL, so Robert Ludwig SS, Sterling Sound. So uh, this is a hot mix. This thing sounds phenomenal. The bass on this thing, wow. Um, and you can tell it was mixed very hot as well. It might be hard to see in this um, in this uh, video, but you can see where the dead you can see the dead wax wax. There's hardly any dead wax in on this vinyl, which is really interesting. Which means it was a lot of lots of grooves on this thing, lots of bass, which takes up a lot of the space of the record. So if you're fortunate enough to ha own one of these, you guys will agree with me. This is a killer, absolutely killer. Dropping the needle on this and. Uh, <laughs> turn it if you turn it up loud right out of the gate with a whole lot of loving uh wow love this album now i've never compared it to the mofi version of led zeppelin too i know there's shootouts out there uh, maybe maybe drop me a comment let me know what you guys think if you've done a shootout between the robert ludwig and the uh, mofi one but so yeah incredible sounding one um i think it's an example here i just wanted to see what the remastered how they remastered if you look at the um the dead wax in it as well you can probably see that there's way more dead wax. So you can obviously, right? I mean, the Ludwig one was mixed hot, so um, they needed more grooves for the bass <laughs> compared, you know, so this is the remastered one that just came out, and this is the Robert Ludwig one. So way less dead wax, uh, which tells you that this thing is smoking. So that is my video today, just sort of discussing what I think um, is happening in the audiophile world with uh, some of the bigger bigger names, like I said before, don't expect the bigger name uh, um, bands to be uh, wanting to sign on to uh, these audiophile pressings. Uh, once in a while, if there's anything that's released in the near future that's a, a bigger name band, who knows, maybe that was a, by fluke they got them, but I think going forward, like I said, I don't want anyone to expect that we're going to see Pink Floyd or Led Zeppelin step up and, you know, be uh, mofied or uh, part of Analog Productions, uh, um, you know, catalog. I mean, it would be awesome. I'd love to see it, but I just don't see it from a from a financial point of view that even being part of the question. Uh, the only thing I could speculate is I know Classic Records, uh, you know, their Led Zeppelin II uh, came out years ago. Maybe Analog Production still has the lacquer, the metal pieces for that, and they're able to license that uh, pressing. That would be really cool. Uh, again, I don't know what the Classic Records Led Zepp II sounds like. I mean, Classic Records, if you guys don't know, um, they did a, an incredible Led Zeppelin box set. And um, I don't even know what they're going for on, on Discogs, but I think it's like... You know, five, six, seven thousand dollars for a mint condition um, box set of all of the uh, pressings of, of Led Zeppelin's album. So check that out as well. So who knows? Maybe AP can surprise us, and they might have all the metal for it, and be able to press it, and work out a deal with Jimmy Page and the boys. That would be kind of cool. So, anyways, I uh, hope this video helps, guys. Have a wonderful May long May May weekend here here in Canada in sunny Vancouver. It's our May long weekend, so uh, crank that music up. And uh, we'll see you again next time. Have a great day. Thank you.